Thank you very much, Dr. Seema. First of all, I would like to thank wholeheartedly Dr. Hemlata Talesra, my madam. She was there with me. We have enjoyed to be together in MS University, Vadodara. And uh, she has given this opportunity to talk with all of you. So it is a wonderful experience. I'm very sure that I'm going to learn a lot from discussions, whichever we'll have it after my presentation. And I expect to this August uh, gathering that I'm trying to put my ideas on uh, passion, self-awareness, and how can we nurture this for quality life. So any critical remark or anything which you think, you keep noting down and we'll surely have uh, interactive sessions after my presentation. So thank you very much for this opportunity, madam, and uh, this platform from which so many collaborative uh, agencies are there to each agency's lots of thanks to you. Coming to the topic, as um, Martin sir has also said uh, that uh, that it is a very important topic, especially in this 21st century. I'm a student of psychology, which has always talked to me. Basically, I'm from clinical psychology, which has said this 21st century is a era of threat. Most of us are living in lots of uh, confusions, frustrations, and many things are coming. And in that, the basic potentials which we hold basic um, things what we have sometimes in the fast uh, pace we might be missing out which we already have because it is believed that everyone has the capacity to develop but we might have lack directions or need gentle push in the direction of overall development and mental well-being because to enhance the quality of uh, our lives, everyone has a fundamental, or we can say everyone has a duty to understand ourselves. We very well aware that three very two very important things which happens in our life is birth and death. And both birth and death is not our choice. We have not have any choice in this, but between birth and death, we leave or we have a journey which is fully our choice. We select. Maybe we select by our choice. We think it has come to us by force, but it is something we have selected out of many alternatives. So despite the fact neither the birth or death is subject to our control or free will, but the journey from conception to the uh, death is fully our choice. We have what we are today is the result of our choice. It is the result of our past decisions so far we have made for our life. And that's why the self-awareness is incredibly important in shaping our quality of life. Each one of us may have a different definition and understanding of quality. We all give meaning to this quality word. So whatever may be, but it is better life. And that's why when we are have a better life, we need to understand the pattern of our thoughts, our feelings, our uh, actions. And all this leads to somewhere our um, passion of living. Because passion, you might be knowing that it is a intense emotions within us. It's not coming from outside. It is within us. It is there with us all the time and it is almost helping us or sometimes compelling us to get into certain kinds of extra certain kinds of activities where external reward is not uh, important. For some people, this passion can be their profession like teaching, medicine. For 
have something, it may be academic area, political uh, histories, or certain activities like sculpting or uh, coding, or many such kind of things can be part of passion for the different individuals. And that's why finding our passion, it is not one time process. And it doesn't happen only in single day. But passion may change throughout our whole life as the different experiences what we get it. And that's why unless and until you have self-awareness, we may not be able to identify the passion what we have it. And that's why there is need to see that our passion get nurture, our self-awareness get nurtured. So to identify a passion, self-awareness self is very essential. And uh, as I said, life is individual's responsibility. See, many times, many people, you might have heard saying that, see what life I have, why everything to me, why this, why this? Or sometimes even positive, I am so and so, I am this. So any of this choice of positive or negative, this is their own choices. It is their responsibility to see. See, every one of us have a power to make it as simple, as hassle-free, as healthy, as happy, as peaceful, whatever we give definition to our quality life. We have a power. And that is what we need to realize that power, that what power I hold it. See, we human beings are blessed. We have got a healing power. We are blessed that everything what I think I want to have it, I can have it. Only thing I need to push myself. I need to get into. And that's why a healthy and mentally, physically healthy state, which represents the quality of life. And what are the choices we are making for which our self-awareness is essential? Because there is always a quest of choice. There is a need to have knowledge, skill, willingness to put our choice into action. But how does this self-awareness will help us? Because many people say, well, right now, if I put a question, how many of us are self-aware? I think everyone will say, we all. See, chronologically, we have lived our life with our own self only. And that's why we are fully aware about ourselves. I think answer is not wrong. But we are knowing only those aspects of self which has got an opportunity to explore. There may be too many things hidden in me which so far has not come out of any experiences of mine. This could be possible. And that is why the self-awareness is a very important concept for our life. And as Dr. Martin was also saying, that it is something which leads to cosmic sources. We are fully about, uh, aware about the Maslow's hierarchy, need-based theory, which goes from basic needs to self-actualization. And uh, this, uh, when we go for self-awareness, it is inverted um, triangle, and we move on. Later uh, part, I'll talk about it. Right now, I just want to focus more on how does self-awareness helps us to know our potentials. Self-awareness is necessary. What are our needs? Are we really aware about our needs? Let us take example of Maslow's only. There are five types of need. Myself work on which need most of the time. Is it self-esteem? Is it basic? Now, many times people say, khane ke liye jita hai, jine ke liye khate hai. Do different kinds of place they put for. Is it security needs most of the time operate on you? 
So I think we need to be little aware about which is the level of need I most of the time operate from. And at given point of need, time, what are the need priorities? At the same time, you might have something to attend. Someone is there in the hospital. You have to attend the seminar. You have got some party at home. You might be having something else also. Too many things at a time and a given day. Now we need to prioritize if we want to attend to all. And this, am I able to do it so that at the end of the day, I think, yes, I have lived. Something I wanted to do it and I could do it. How we are setting our goals to fulfill our needs. And if there is some hurdle, some kind of failure, or some kind of block comes, then how do I cope with it? Do I accept the challenges and work on the challenges move away? Or I go back foot, I said, it's okay, I don't want it. There are many individuals around us that whenever any task comes and in first, second step, if they cannot make it, They'll say it's not my cup of tea or it's not interesting. They go back. But how many times we'll be able to withdraw like this? Because when we withdraw, immediate gratification is there because it releases our tension. But if we keep doing this, it will build tension. But what can I do? I'm not able to even complete a task like I have decided to go and uh, attend a seminar. And something happens, I don't work on it. And I said, it's okay, something else you have told me to do it, I'll do it and I leave it. How many times will be able to do it? But if such thing happens, what am I doing? When do I compromise? When do I fight? How I deal with different challenges which come along? I need to know what are the things I need to ignore. What are the urgent things which I need to attend immediately? Something I can prolong later on. And something is there. If it is happening, fine. If not, put it in the dustbin. Nothing happens. What are the defense mechanism I practice in my life? Because many a times we are not aware that what we are doing to sustain our self-respect, we do play a game, victimized game. There are many games we play. Edwin Toffler's good book is there, which tell us that we are not just aware that what are we doing. But yes, we are using make, uh, the use of defense mechanism. Just try to focus on your daily behavior, daily actions. And just see that how many times you respond and how many times you react. When you react, how do you feel? And when you respond, how the things comes to you? Just try to notice it. And you will see that sorry, there is subtle difference in this too. What are the things which help me to success? Yes, by this time of our age, we are successful in many areas, many fields. Yes, we have lived a life where we have got lots of success. But what has given me this success? How I help myself to push myself to the success? I think this is also I need to know it. And that's why I need to understand that am I escapist living out the things? Am I conformist that yes, boss type, everything yes, father says do this, I do say yes, mother say this, brother, friend, anything. Am I rational? Am I think, do I think logical or am I emotional? I think when self-awareness is there, these are the different issues. There can be many more which help me to lead my life. So self-awareness helps us a lot in our life. And when you are self-aware, you can understand that what is that 
motivates you, driven you that force, that passion comes. See, passion does not mean anything extra because sometimes this is a confusion people have that our hobby is our passion. No. Even the small little thing what you do, as you cook, cooking may be your passion that when you are cooking, except cooking, you don't uh, see around. You are so focused. You are so interested in doing things. Passion could be you are reading a book and you just see that you get engrossed into it and you leave every um, character, everything what is happening in there. That intense love, intense, that kind of attitude that we develop, for that also we need to understand what is our passion. Self-awareness, which has also been known and uh, as we say that uh, right now when I ask you, Kenyan, how many you, of you know yourself? See, first identity, we got it right from the birth, which we didn't get it, but we got it right from the birth from parents. They have given us name. They have given us a family name. They have given us a um, lot many other relationships. We are born in certain nations, so that also identity we are given, or we have got it from, from the birth. As we move on, See, our syllabus also, you try to see in our science books, in all the other subject books, the things comes, know your body, know your system, know yourself, that physical self. So, yes, awareness to physical body. Second level is vital body. Mental seat from which we are working, karmic or spiritual. Yes, these are the five kosh or the seeds we have, layers we have of our self-awareness. And let us know to what level we are having and why do we need to have it. See, every human being is uh, endowed with certain physical and psychological features and both work together as a holistic man. Because nowadays we are fully aware that there is a mind-body relationships. There are several diseases which are coming out of bad mental health to bad physical health, sick mental health or sick body. Yes, there are relationships. Because this layers, what we have, it is a spectrum closely packed to a physical body, to the spiritual body. See, when we see certain photos or certain things, we see the aura around. And that is nothing but that's the things around people for their wider awareness. So our Upanishad and um, they have also tried to give this. So all living beings have this energy levels. Basically nothing but this is all energies. And it works on the principle of energy that uh, energy never get extinct. It can change its form and uh, it uh, moves on from earthly to metaphysical. And uh, in every one of us, it moves with uh, different speeds also. So when we talk about physical body, the first that is called Annamaya Kosh which is related to Maslow's theory as basic need. And as I said, um, Maslow's is a triangle. When we talk about this uh, yogic needs, it is inverted triangles. So upper part, it's a physical body, very close to our own self. It is related to our health and fitness. I think we need to have a self-awareness towards our own self. Hmm? What things helps me to grow healthy what are the things which are not uh, helping me so it is basically a survival or sustainable of life needs like food water air sleep our body has each cell of our body has intelligence 
and we can talk with the cells. We can keep messaging to our self. We can interact with the self. And basically, even with not knowing this, you might have seen, if you are fearful, your mind will show fear only. Because the cell has carried that instructions, that message to your brain that I am fearful right now. When you think you are happy, the message goes. So if you want to remain happy, you have to keep giving message to your brain. Brain is our, um, what we say, follow. It takes our decisions and follow as we want. That's why we said it's our choice. You want to remain happy. You want to remain sad. You want to remain frustrated. These are all our decisions. And uh, this is the thing which has been said that uh, each cell of our body is responsible for our good or bad health and fitness of us. In yoga, we have got PMR, which is called as uh, progressive muscular relaxations, where we talk with every cell of us right from head to toe and we relax it. We tell ourselves that yes, this is my desire. This is what I want. And this is the way I want to move my life. I want to be happy. You just take this. And you will see that the day you have decided to remain happy, nobody can uh, change your decisions to remain happy. Very briefly, we'll talk about the second body, which we have vital body, about which the self-awareness is very central. This is called a pranamaya kosh. And um, this is actually, we have got a four state of uh, matter, that solid, liquid, air, plasma. Energy of our body, which allows or runs to the physical body for healthy life. And it is Maslow's security life, security need, which talk about pran. It is talking about the security which we feel. It can be physical security, it could be emotional security, it could be social security, it could be any security. There are many individuals around us who have got lots of lots of material power or material things available with them. But they are not having good sleep at the night. They have got a fear that what will happen to them. Somewhere that anxiety, anxiousness creates lots of disturbance in the mind. And that's why it's been said that when we want peace, healthy life, we need to see that we remain secure with all potentials what we have. All the, um, we have got uh, lots of support system and many things. So I need to be aware about that these are the support system I have. These are my potential. This is my ability. These are my things. So how can I help myself to remain secure for my life? Third is Manmaya Kosh. Now, this is something with the third need of Maslow's love and belongingness need. It is basically our mind thinks for the body. I'm happy. I'm not happy. Or um, I'm sad. The person has said what I wanted to hear. But you know the tone with which the person says. So I got disturbed. So many things are there which disturbs us. See, we human beings don't deserve to have anything which is not favoring us. And when we want to have of our own choice, I think we should be very clear about our stool and sukshma, both mind and body together, because that operates on us. 
So are we clear about the emotions? As I said, no. How do you um, do you react or do you respond to the people? Because reaction is full loaded with emotions, while response is something intellectual where lots of rational things are there. Just think over and just uh, uh, say that how I am able to manage my love and belongingness need. Just a simple example. We say food is the basic need, physiological need. So I'm giving just same uh, examples for this. I'm hungry. And that's why whatever available there, I ate. That is basic need. I'm hungry. But I don't know whether I can buy from here or not. I'm not so sure that in this I can eat or not. I remain hungry, although I have food, but I could not enjoy the food. I could not take the food. I have just eaten. But my friends came and say, let's go for a party. You are not hungry. But still you said, yes, OK, let's go. Then you are going for what? Maintain that relationship. Because you love, you like to belong to that. And that's why you don't like to say no, although food was not your aim. Company was your aim. The other person has invited you for food, but for you, it was this. Many people around you may be saying, I'll give you best uh, party in five-star hotel, seven-star hotel. It is the self-esteem need which follows. It has always been said, that whether you have the Rolex or Mercedes or any branded big things, and in the same like Nano car, they are on the four wheels. These are also on the wheel. Huh? Rado phone and uh, Rado watch and your simple hundred rupees watch show the same time. So you are enjoying food or you want to enjoy the company or you want to enjoy the status. See, everything we decide, human being decides, and they try to fulfill that need. So how it's move on, that's very important. The fourth very important, that is called karmic body, or it is called um, kosh. It's basically a wisdom body. It's a body which is trying, it's a more or less our uh, mental state. And uh, it is the mind who decides how I need to operate for. And that's why we always say it's our conscious mind, it's our universal mind, it's our individual mind, it's unconscious mind, everything. There are certain messages at, at every level. Or in other words, if we say every object is a part of universe, we try to see when. And uh, karmic, it is say, it goes from birth to birth. And that's why I'm responsible for all my happiness, sadness, or whatever the things happens with me. And that is why we are advised to do prosperity comes rather than poor comes. Prosperity comes, if I say examples that these are the karm, karm which we do it with positive thoughts. Things will be okay. I'll be able to do it. I will be doing. While poor karm, they'll always cry over the spilled milk. They always think, if I walk and if I fall, then if I do this and something happened, then. And that
that's why this vigyan kosh talk on sat chit anand that's a complete satisfactions what we have a child got 98 percent parent is not happy for the two percent three percent which he could not get it see all efforts of the child has been lost child is having lots of anxiety pressure stress and many times, this is the fear of failure, which take away all the peace of mind, both parents and men. When this self-satisfaction, or we can say that how we can have uh, this kind of alternative thinking that what I need to do it for myself. For that, it has been said that center of this awareness is our heart. And that's why to get the best resolutions of this is to relax deeply, keep your breathing smoothly and evenly. And whenever you need to take an action, Always take a deep breath, think, think rationally, allow yourself to settle and reach to the complete tranquility stage. Many a time, emotionally, we take decisions which may, may not come true and it creates another chain of lots of treasure and all. And we get confused that what I was knowing and myself is same or different. And the fifth one is spiritual body or Anandamaya Kosh, which we say it's a bliss body. It reveals when we come through outer, outermost things. And this is also like Maslow's, we go into hierarchy only and reaching every stage. But there are ways how we can get into. And uh, it is kind of need for self-actualization, what we have in Maslow's. It's a basic core of humanity. It's a law of eternal, endless, timeless, sarvatrik. It's true self, what I like and what I give, which gives me pleasure. You play with a small dog, it gives you pleasure. You be alone in nature, it may give you pleasure. You have got crores of rupees lottery, but you may not get pleasure. So these are all certain kinds of uh, set thinking. And it has always been said that the pleasure is something what you need to know what gives you pleasure. Is it the money? See, when we set a goal for our life, most of us always have one common goal that I want to be happy or I want to be peaceful at the end. But as I said in the beginning only, let we define this. My happiness, my peace, how do I get it? The steps I decide, it's my selection, I choice. There we are all very different and unique. So mental satisfaction to spiritual satisfaction. Many people say, I'm doing meditation. But medita meditation is a being state of mind. You can do, you when you are doing and grossly, passionately your work, you are meditating. For that, there is no need to go for a special things. So in this way, a very good, uh, we can have self-awareness. Uh, we can understand there as a hierarchy of needs that's given by our Maslow's because in education or any other field, Maslow's need in education, at least we are much familiar. And this is the way now we get into the word of passion. 
yes passion is something within me always there within me and which is helping me to find out the happiness and fulfillment this is the reason why you are eager to lead a fulfilled life and it is also not one time process but it is also a process evolving every day something or other and that's why both this process need to be nurtured well we need to nurture them well to ensure quality life for us because we human being deserve to have a quality life we keep saying we have got lots of time but we don't have quality time to spend with our children yes exactly the same meaning what we are saying yes we are living life right from birth to this date we have lived our life but now i'm thinking of that does not mean i have not lived a quality life no i don't mean to say this but everyone has a scope to make it little better need to make little conscious where i'm fully aware what i'm doing and that's why i want to nurture this a strong feeling what i have in me to live my life because the day i lose it i will lose the purpose of living then i'll strag i'll start dragging my life and this is not we as a human being deserve to make our life there need to be some purpose there is need to have some kind of goal and a strong desire to get that goal is my passion so it is a intense driving or overmastering feeling of convicting me it can be positive it can be negative also but right now we are talking about all positive feelings which help me to lead my life a strong goal which i set up self awareness only will help us to know the need and need will help us me to find the goal and then the passion comes that how will i achieve that goal and how will i travel throughout this experiences of my life many people enjoy struggles because they think i learn something from there every small little things have helped to grow the person and that's why the passion is something which we can live then how can we nurture our passion and our self awareness for our life we need to have a very personal vision statement for our life see every industries every educational institute have their vision on the basis of vision they have got a mission and then the action probably we also need to have a very clear vision that what actually i want to have if you have seen this according to erickson theory in psychology development theory they said around adolescent stage the individual is confirming his identity and his vision of life till then he just try to find out yes this is like trying out experimenting and understanding and that's why that's a clear vision we need to have at the same time we need to determine our values what are the value system on which i am working which are the value system i need so the value system which i need because the karmic also said what you give you get it the way i want to see when you are in front of me mirror, mirror you can see only what you are trying to show if you want to see a smiling face you have to smile otherwise you can't see the smiling face there this is the way the value which you want you have to determine your values 
you have to find out your true um, what we say to self we have to uncover our personal goals and the career path and other thing what we do it but we have to find out or discover from ourselves our values our belief our sense of purpose existential theories help us to understand that why do i exist there is always a purpose my passion lead to this purpose and for which my self awareness helps my passion to go for that and only those things helps me and enjoys that quality life when i am taking my whole self and move to it it is always been said we know ourselves if i put a rating scale 0 to 10 most of us will like to put ourselves 8 9 10 somewhere there this is perfectly fine it's okay but if from 8 to 9 if i want to move i if i 9 to 10 if i want to move or if i want to sustain on 10 i think self awareness is a important step in my journey to discover my passion at the same time there are many things happening around us which i don't like which i don't love i need to find out that what is that i don't love what is that i don't like why i don't like See, many a time you might have realized that nothing much has happened, but you go to a judgmental state, saying this is person good, this is person not right. And when your experience starts coming, you realize that somewhere you were very wrong. And that is why it said you need to help yourself to know your strengths, your weaknesses. You need to acknowledge that what the things are happening around you. one of the things to nurture your passion and the things when we want to move ahead in our uh, cosmic sources that level of detachment sakshi bhav what we said we need to practice journalism journaling that we put down specific learning of every day and uh, we try to understand and get the things what happens to me i need to embrace my mindful practices i need to be non judgmental i need not be overthinker or interpreter all the time see we need only how to understand my knowledge what i possess and how meaningfully i can make true feelings with true feelings i can use it enjoy it and sometime i need coach sometime i need guidance from elders sometimes i need someone who can help me to take this life and it is always be there that company makes a difference so what got, what kind of kind of company that we have it so we need to surround ourselves with uh, similar passionate people so that we feel inspired we feel confident we feel secure and we be confident to ourselves and that's why now i am just trying to wind up what i was said that through this i just wanted to say that as it was not our choice to be what we are born with or we have with so accept the givens once you accept the givens sky is the limit for us once we accept why this is so i can have number of alternative to move from there why i'm born to this poor family okay first understand why what is that poor family you mean to what is that you want to change up unless and until you accept that you cannot move on 
why I'm so this family or why I'm so dark, why I'm so this or that, whatever the uh, complaints we have about ourselves in the positions, whichever the state of uh, mind we have. And that's why I said we are all individually unique. So we did not compare ourselves. We are non-competitive, non-comparable individuals. And uh, that's why whatever the uniqueness I have, I need to nurture it. As we said that we are the result of our choices and reflection of our past decisions. <coughs> if today I realize something has gone wrong, there is no need to develop a guilt. But there is a need to develop a rational thinking and say, OK, that was the best suitable things what has happened at that point of time. But now if I think I don't want uh, history to be repeated, what I need to do it. So there are lots of learning from those incidents. And that's why we always remember that self is responsible for everything what happens. And that's why accept yourself as you are. Respect yourself wholeheartedly, unconditionally. Appreciate yourself, whatever you are with and acknowledge yourself and all these four processes are what you are and that's why we need to be aware about the other four processes that is how do i perceive because perceptions are the basic inputs in my lab, brain on the basis of perceptions, I go for thinking. And depending on that, my feeling comes. And on that, I action. So in this way, I make myself. I'm responsible for my own behavior. And that's why I need to nurture my self-aware conscious processes wherever i need any new experience new learning are there i need to explore myself accept myself respect myself appreciate myself and on that basis as said even mission uh, the passion is also not one time it can also change us with your experience and other things let it go on nurture it I'm very sure we are going to live a quality life with this kind of nurturing attitudes if we develop for. Thank you very much. I think I have made a sense. But if it is not, you can ask questions. You can give your uh, critical review on this also. So if I get a uh, Thank you very much. Kind of thing, I'll get it. Uh, I